it's all corn free, soy free. Sundays in Sacramento means shopping at the farmer's market. It also means carrying more cash, especially for chicken. Since that COVID um, started, uh, the, the prices for our, our feed and labor have, have skyrocketed. It's gone up significantly. With inflation, the biggest thing that we have right now across the board is our feed. Poultry farmers Jeremy Fish of Honest Fish Company and Dan Jones with Islote Farms say the cost of feeding the chickens is starving their budgets. It's the only thing as far as uh, overhead cost that, you know, they keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. Like it's tripled within the last two years. While these independent farmers use organic, non-traditional sources for feed, large Larger facilities depend on corn shipped from the Midwest. Corn is what really drives the price. Bill Mattis is the president of the California Poultry Federation. He says 60% of the cost of producing chicken is in the corn feed, and shortages and shipping issues are also factors of rising costs. We're up 10%, and depending on some cuts, might be up more than others. An uh, average of nine or ten percent. Contributing to the problem, less feed is getting to the chicken farmers because those Midwest growers are using it for ethanol that you find here at the gas pump. We keep pushing that it should be used for feed stuff for people and for animals rather than for gasoline. But a lot of the Midwest people are you know, trying to make it make their ends meet too. Fish says raising chickens with inflation means raising prices for the consumer, but he's trying to get innovative. As we can get our feed costs down, which we're trying to network with other farmers to co-op and buy large bulk feed to keep the cost down for our consumer. And Jones, who sells eggs from his chickens, found a different solution. We're not raising our prices just because you know, I don't want to contribute to the inflation issues. Um, I'd rather just keep our prices the same. And that price has customers coming back every Sunday for fresh eggs. Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. Mattis tells us he thinks production in poultry plants will be back to full staffing in the next three to four months, which will help the supply. But he believes prices will not go down for a while. So here are the biggest increases we've seen year over year. Energy costs are up nearly 42%. Airline tickets up 34% and eggs, which you just saw, are up 33%. And get this, unleaded gas up 61%.